Okay, so welcome to this lesson with Typo 3 where we're going to look at using the digital asset management module um, functionality and the Smooth Gallery plugin to upload some images and display them on a web page. So to start, we um, with the gallery, we have to prepare your images. Now, unless you're you're really doing a high-end photography site or something like that, your images probably don't need to be any more than 800 pixels in any dimension. So use some sort of in imaging program that came with your software or Photoshop or whatever came with your camera to change the size of your images, resize them down smaller, it'll just save some space on the server, save download times, processing, and it'll just make uploading things go, everything go a lot faster when you're working with smaller images files. Uh, most cameras today are making, you know, 10 megapixel images, which are, you know, over a meg per file, whereas you resize them down, they're going to be under a megabyte, um, and just things are going to move really, really quick. So just take some time to prepare the images and resize them for, for the web. The next thing you're going to want to do is make sure you have the category that you need to add these images to. And so we'll show you how to add your categories. And then you're going to upload your images using the file module into a folder. Next you're going to assign the categories to those images um, using processing in the with the DAM functionality. functionality. And then we're going to insert the plugin and configure it to display that category of images on the page. All right, so let's get started. We're going to assume that you already know how to get to the typo 3 backend and not a login. So go ahead and do that. So the first thing we want to do is make sure we have the category needed to add these images. Now the images that I have prepared are of a trip to Niagara Falls here in Canada. So Use your list module on the left side here. Click on the media folder and then scroll down to the category table listing or category records listing. So what I'm going to do here is create a new record in the media categories. I'm going to call it Niagara Falls 08 because that's when we went. And here I'm just going to go, uh, these aren't totally necessary, Falls Holiday Niagara. Okay, that's all we have to do now. So we're going to save and close this form. And go down, we're going to see, oh, there it is, Niagara Falls 08. So now we have our category, and that's what we're going to assign to each image as we upload them. The next thing we need to do is actually upload our images. So we're going to come over to our modules here again. We're going to go into our file administration. Okay, and we're going to open up our file tree here. I already have a folder called photos. I'm going to open that up. And then I'm actually going to go uh, click here on photos itself because I see there's not, I like to keep my photos organized, keep them all in their own individual folders. So I'm going to create a new folder here, create new folder called Niagara Falls. Oh eight, that gives me the year. I'm gonna save that. Okay, then in my list here, I'm gonna click on Niagara Falls 08. So obviously nothing in here in our list. So what we want to do now is go to the upload. And from upload, I'm going to choose um, some files. I've got five images that I've prepared. Come over here to my desktop. I have a folder. So I'm just going to, one by one, select these images. Four, back and forth, making you a bit dizzy here. Sorry about that. And then we're going to upload our files. Okay, so now you can see we've got the five files. I'm going to, now we have to assign the category. We're going to use the processing um, functionality of the, of the digital asset management. So I'm going to select these five files. I'm going to say process. And I'm not going to do anything special except for 
open up my category tree down here and assign Niagara Falls 08 and then I'm going to process okay so that's done so now I'm going to go you didn't really see anything there but we're going to check and make sure we're going to go to my list I'm just going to quickly edit one of these images scroll down and see that here in the categories that Niagara Falls has been assigned so now we those five images have been uploaded processed and assigned their category the next thing we want to do now is insert the plugin on a page um, the, for the smooth gallery and tell it to display these images to do that we're going to use our page module and then we're going to go down here I have a page if you don't have a page you can create one but I'm going to put it on our new slideshow page so I'm going to select this and in the main content area for this page I'm going to say create a new element and then I'm going to slide down here uh, scroll down and find the smooth gallery plugin I'm going to click on that I'm going to give this slideshow I'm just going to say Niagara Falls 2008 is going to be the, the header for that so it's going to be the title heading on top of that hold on let's get rid of that um, and then we're going to click on plugin smooth gallery images from directory is the default what we're going to do is change that to images from digital asset management categories and then click save because that's going to update the, the form and the options that we have then I'm going to make the plugin change the images automatically every four seconds and so for four seconds we put in 4,000 milliseconds because there's a thousand milliseconds in a second and then we're going to select the records we're going to ignore the path and we're going to go up here and select records and that's going to allow us to select our category here so you can see I've got Niagara Falls 08 that I'm going to select here Niagara Falls 08 and I'm going to set my width to just a default now it's going to be 500 500 width of my so width of the image is going to be the, the size of the image inside the gallery height of the image maximum height is going to be 500 so this is within the, the gallery view on the page so it's going to be smaller um, than the actual full view of the image then the width of the gallery itself we're going to make it exactly the same and the height here the same under advanced settings using lightbox means that it's going to let you um, open the image into the larger view which is the prepared view that you size that you've set and in my scenario this is going to be an 800 by 600 image use arrows allows people to navigate back and forth in our images thumbnails um, will display a smaller set of images and so in this scenario I'm going to say no because we don't really need this because it's only a set of five images and then we come down here op opacity of thumbnails opacity runs between 0 and 1 so we're going to say opacity we want the thumbnails to be fully visible but the area where they are we're going to say point high and so just a little bit actually you know what let's just leave that at 1 for this scenario set up okay and then we're going to save and close so our plugin is configured here on the page so now let's visit that page by going to that page on the site and we can do that very quickly by just clicking on the page icon here and go show and that's going to load our page okay so here's our page loaded and you can see here's our plugin working and it's cycling through our images one at a time every four seconds and you also have the option to go back and forward in them and then when you click on the center here this little icon it allows you to open the image and it can open up in the full kind of 800 by 600 view of that image over top of your web page and then you can click forward and back and see the different images 
and then you can click close and that takes you back to the main view of the plugin. Okay, so that's using uh, digital asset management functionality and the Smooth Gallery plugin to display a set of images from a category in your web page.